Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to my cybersecurity show. And today, what are we doing? We're back in our Port Swigger Web Security Academy lab walkthrough series. That we're going through. Having a good one today's lab. <laughs> we're going to do a 2FA simple bypass. Because not all 2FA mechanisms or MFA mechanisms are built equally. Some of them are kind of garbage and they don't actually do anything. You put in the username and password, you might actually already just be done. And the 2FA is superfluous. It's unnecessary. It doesn't do anything. It's just there for window dressing. They probably didn't mean for that to happen, but sometimes it does. Such is the case with our lab today. Let's check it out and read what we have here. Lab, 2FA simple bypass. This lab's two-factor authentication may be bypassed. You have already obtained a valid username and password, but... There's a big but, much like my own. No, <laughs> uh, but I do not have access or we do not have access to the user's 2FA verification code. To solve that, uh, the lab, access Carlos's account page. Uh, we're seeing a, a theme here. We've got our credentials, which are Wiener and Peter. I can never spell Wiener, so I'm just going to copy that. Copy. And then we've got the victim's credentials. So we, we have Carlos's credentials, which we will need. All right. So what do we got to do? You hit access the lab, which takes you to this lovely page here. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is hit this my account page. All right, and this gives us the login. There it is. Wonderful. So I'm going to paste in my name, which I can never spell, and then Peter as the password. Hit login. What does that do? Redirects us. Mm, gotta love a good redirection. Redirects us to where? The 2FA. It's asking us right here to please enter our four-digit security code. I ain't got no four-digit security code. No authenticator. I don't have a, a phone that gets the SMS text message or an email account. I'm, I'm, oh, well, I don't have it. What am I, oh, what am I going to do? Cry, oh, no. I can't, I can't continue. Well, no, that's not necessarily the case. I want to check and see. Maybe I can still get some action here. I'm going to go up in the URL, and right now I'm at web-security-academy.net forward slash login2. I don't know why it's login2, but whatever. And I'm just going to remove login2, take it back to web-security-academy.net, plus the uh, random UID string or whatever it creates for the container that it spins up for your lap. Hit enter. And then I'm going to hit my account again and see if it takes me to the login page. If it does, then I know that I did not actually get authenticated to the system. If it takes me to my account page, well, then guess what? We, we're going to win this. Oh, look, it took me to my account, telling me my username, my email address, and then I can change the email address if I like. But cool. Can we do the same thing with, with Carlos? Well, I believe we can, and that ought to be a good time had by all. So I'm going to log out, go back, grab Carlos, and his password is Montoya. Montoya. Okay, I can do that. So let's go back to my accounts. Gives us the login. Carlos. And we're going to log in with Montoya. And hit the login, which should redirect us to the 2FA, which it does. And if this was anything like the last, we go back up into the uh, address bar, remove login two from the end of that, hit enter, takes us back to the home page. We hit my accounts and wait for it. Hey, look at that. We solved the lab. Aren't we smart kids? We have a good time with these things, don't we? And that's that's just a simple. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy to FA bypass. You hopefully do not run into something that egregiously easily bypassed in real life land, but it's not out of the realm of possibility, which is why they put that in there. Plus, it starts to open your mind up to how 2FA and MFA systems work, which is a very interesting thing. You probably want to do some study on that after you get past your apprentice level stuff. Start thinking more about 2FA and MFA. How could those be bypassed? What are some of the mechanisms and what are the weaknesses around those mechanisms? Start doing some research and figuring that stuff out so that you can better secure those things up, put better fences around them, build them better, stronger, faster, keeping our place a little more secure. That said, thanks for watching. We got more to come in the Port Swigger Web Security Academy series. So please continue to follow 
this this channel and if you got some value out of this don't forget to hit that like and subscribe notification bell if you want to know when i drop these hint hints it's usually on fridays and uh, so you can stay on top of whenever i release a new video for that until the series is done and of course i'll have other content uh, on the fire as well well i've rambled on enough thanks again for watching until next time keep hacking